Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Automotive, here today with a video on fault code U0073, symptoms, causes, and diagnostics. Diagnostic trouble code U0073 indicates control module communication bus A off. Now, when talking about what this error code actually means, first a little background information about control modules. Most modern vehicles will have somewhere in the ballpark of about 10 to 30 control modules, in some cases even more. These control modules are essentially mini computers. All of these computers and control modules communicate over the CAN or controller area network, also known as CAN bus. So ultimately all of these control modules are communicating across that network. And essentially what this fault code indicates is that there is some sort of communication error going on with a control module or somewhere within that wiring. And as for specifically what that communication error can be, that's really dependent. It might be that the communication is delayed. It could be inconsistent, incorrect, Correct or potentially no communication at all. So ultimately when it comes to U0073, this is a communication error across the CAN bus network and it can vary widely depending on the extent of the communication error and what's actually causing the problems. Starting off with symptoms of U0073, this is very complicated talking about symptoms since you can really get any range of symptoms. It's impossible to provide a perfect list depending on the communication error and the extent of that communication error, you could have symptoms as simple as just the check engine light and really no other noticeable symptoms. That would be if it's a very minor communication error. On the other hand, you could get much more serious issues like hard starts, not even cranking, not starting at all, or potentially the engine turning on and then instantly stalling. And then in between that, you can really get any range of symptoms. You may also notice things like rough idle, poor performance, stuttering, hesitation, etc. Again, really just boils down to the extent of that communication error and what is actually causing it. With that said, moving on to some of the most common causes of fault code U0073, starting with some of the simpler ones. A blown fuse can cause this diagnostic trouble code. You may also simply have issues with the battery or alternator, so those are going to be some of the easier starting points. When it comes to the battery and alternator, this is pretty unlikely, but of course as control modules, these control modules do need a reliable power supply to properly work and communicate. So if you you do have any kind of battery or alternator issues that could potentially be causing issues with CAN bus communication and ultimately trigger this fault code. Some other common causes include damaged wiring or loose connections or potentially a faulty control module. Now that's where it can get very very challenging and I'll cover more of that in the diagnostics here in just a moment but if it is an issue with any kind of wiring or connections or a control module that is where it gets a little more difficult to diagnose and potentially where you may consider going to a repair shop. That said, let's go ahead and jump in and discuss how to properly start diagnosing U0073. Starting with the first step and something that I recommend for any fault code is plug your OBD2 scanner back into the vehicle and check for any additional fault codes. A lot of the times if you have more fault codes stored in the computer, that can help point you in the direction of the specific problem. If you do have a faulty control module in the vehicle, you'll likely receive a more specific fault code, for example, something indicating an issue with the ABS system and therefore the ABS control module. Potentially same thing for anything like the transmission control module, you might be receiving transmission fault codes as well. So double check those fault codes since that can give you a good starting point. If you don't have any additional fault codes, the next step is starting with the basics and that's just double checking the easy simple stuff. So look for any blown fuses and in particular any fuses that control any control module, so you'd be looking for anything labeled like ECM, PCM, TCM, ABS module, etc. Then check your battery and voltage and make sure that your alternator is working properly. If all of that checks out, then moving on to the next steps is where it can get a lot more complicated. And this really boils down to locating your wiring harness on the vehicle and really just tracing that wiring harness to all of the different control modules it goes to, inspecting all of the wiring and connections, looking for any damaged wiring, loose connections, etc. And then individual 
individually inspecting the control modules to see if there are any issues there. So again, very complicated to diagnose if it isn't something simple like a blown fuse or potentially just a bad battery. It does get complicated to diagnose, so if you're not experienced with vehicles, then a lot of the times that is best left to a professional mechanic to help diagnose the underlying cause of fault code U0073. Anyway guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more in the future. Thanks everyone.